Okay, so I'm gonna do this video that I get to put on RV Trader to show you my van uh, in progress, but I'm listing it because I've just taken on a big job offer that's gonna take up most of my time. So the ability to work on this thing is gonna be very limited. So I thought I'd give somebody an opportunity to take it from where it's at and to finish it with their own concept or to continue to go with, with my layout and my concept. And I certainly will uh, help, uh, you know, whether through email or texts or whatever to tell you how I'm going to do it. But um, but bought it. It's a 2016 Sprinter 2500 with a 2.1 four-cylinder diesel in it, seven-speed transmission. This thing drives like a cream puff. And... She's still in really wonderful condition. I put the new Vision 16 inch wheels on it. I didn't want to go bigger because that can actually mess up the RPM sensor and it'll think you're going slower than you are. And then I put these Yokohama uh, Geolanders on there. But uh, she's coming out pretty good. Uh, I put this uh, shelving system in there, which you can see and uh this bench which is already pretty cozy just with a little bit of fabric some three inch cushions and some and some pillows and then i put this 55 inch uh drawer in here in the back which you can put whatever you want i put in uh let's see if i can put this down for a minute open this but uh i put my tools in there and uh, it's got these cool ass drawer slides on here these were not cheap uh, it holds up to 500 pounds and then i have these curtains on here which are just on a simple magnetic system and they work pretty good uh, i got the sports craft swivel seats in here and uh, they swivel pretty good i put the shelf up top here so all kinds of uh space in here i don't really have it all organized yet because I'm still kind of just uh, whoop 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 <laughs> uh, still in the process of deciding where things are gonna go. Probably shouldn't have a bowl up there. This was a table, uh, a, a chopping block table that I cut down into um, a 19-inch counter, uh, which I was gonna try to do something on a top cabinet, but that's too narrow to put a sink in. And this is where all the uh the water will go your water tank will go back here and then i'm going to put in a rickson uh heat exchanger with the pump and the expander and run up to a sink so you'll have heat and instant hot water but um it's a very expensive unit uh and a lot of parts so gonna wait on that if somebody else wants to take it over and do something different uh, I was going to put a bench right here with the table and then the table can collapse and then you'll have this pretty big bed that was going to be 70 inches wide and 66 inches long. Well, I guess it'll be almost a box, right? But still pretty big uh, space to sleep. Then I put this um, magneto screen here which is super, super cool. It's just a magnet, closes up, right? So pretty neat. And I got this brand new electric slide, had this older one on there and it looked like somebody had hit something with it or something and I just couldn't repair it. So I had to go ahead and didn't have to, but just really like getting used to having this step. This step is has to be done at the factory. If you don't have this installed at the factory, there's no way to do this aftermarket, at least this particular one. And this one actually works underwater. So it's a pretty high-end piece and I actually really like it and the fact that it looks shiny new. Um, I'm actually thinking about taping it all off and painting the yellow, some type of maybe charcoal gray or gunmetal gray or We'll see how that goes. I got a little fridge. It's just a little Cooltronic uh, that plugs into the DC. And it works pretty good. Keeps my drinks cold. Um, this is just held together right now with a little safety baby clip. Um, you know, nothing, nothing special. Again, it's just in the process of uh, getting done. Let's go ahead and 
turn her on just so you can hear how pretty she purrs. I mean, she just really drives like a cream puff. She's turn this music off. So she's got the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but she's got 114,231 miles on it. Uh, she just really, since I, I mean, she drove really well with the factory wheels on it, but now with these new wheels on here uh, and new tires, she just drive, handles really, really well. And with the four cylinder, uh and seven speed transmission she's getting close to 30 miles to the gallon on the highway and she just always seems to know what gear to be in i mean that's one thing about mercedes that i am very impressed with uh they really make a great little diesel uh, i don't even think they allow it now in the states anymore you can only get the six cylinder so i love this little four cylinder uh, she runs really well, still looks really good. I don't know if this camera's doing a good enough job of showing you. Can I shut this or did I lock it out? I locked it out. So this has a lockout on it. So you have to push these two things down and then close it. There you go, so that's closed. And this will shut. I just have my tool still in there because I'm still working on it, but really neat little setup. We went on a little trip and I just slept on the bench. Had to go up to Chicago. Um, but uh, just a neat little truck. And if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep... I mean, it's my everyday car. And, uh, I mean, around town she's getting 22, 23 miles. I mean, it's the biggest truck I've ever owned and it's the best gas mileage I've ever got. I mean, just really really just a neat little i mean and for how big this thing is i think it's 23 feet long 10 feet high it really doesn't look that big and the way it handles on the road is is again just very impressive uh so if you're interested call me or email me or text me and uh, we can organize something but again i am i am firm on the number uh if i don't get the number then i'm just going to keep her <laughs>